Hi, my name is Steven Tyler. I just recently purchased the property on Maui. Um, and being a personality, no matter where we go, we get shot. It's part of, a, it's part of the dealio. <laughs> and it's okay. It kind of drives us crazy, but as my mom said, uh, you asked for it, Steve. <laughs> but, but when I'm in my own home and I'm taking a shower uh, or, or changing clothes or eating or spending Christmas with my children and I see paparazzi a mile away at La Perouse shooting at me with lenses this long <laughs> and then seeing that very picture in People magazine, um, it, it, you know, it hurts. It's, my kids don't want to go out with me, and this Christmas is one of the first times I got them all together at the house. It meant so much to me. And they don't want to go out because as soon as I live on a fish preserve, uh, I heave um, bay. Uh, and um, it's protected a half a mile out from boats, and it's protected on either side. However, they still get in there and they shoot. So I. I had enough of it after seeing that picture, and I thought if California laws <clears throat> said that if somebody comes in your house, uh, then you can you can get the police to come in and file uh, a report on them. But if they take a picture of you in your house, there's nothing you can do about it. And I like that about the California law, and all I wanted to do was mirror that so at least when I come here to write with other people, I don't hear from them. No, I don't want to go to Maui. The paparazzi is all over us, uh, which did happen. So, you know, it just it kind of built up. And when I <clears throat> spoke with Kalani uh, English, uh, Senator Kalani English, that there might be a way to get around this if I was vocal on this. And I could talk to my, my lawyer, uh, Dina LaPolt, about this, that maybe we could do something about it. But I'm in. Because it's not just me. It's also when I leave the house, they follow me downtown and they're shooting with one hand and driving with the other, and they could hurt someone else on the island. So, um, so it's a political <coughs> deal here. Again, they can shoot me where it's public. <coughs> it's what they're there for. It's America. It's the laws I stand by. <coughs> but when it gets private and in my own home, that's when I tend to feel like I want to be able to draw the line. And with your help, I hope to get that this bill passes. So to me, being a resident uh, of uh, the islands, it's really uh, perked me up to do something that really should have been done a long time ago, in my opinion. Uh, we both love these islands. The sense of the true meaning in my heart, as I consider myself a visitor to these islands. I always remind myself and people who work uh, with me on the islands that that's my duty to do, and I'm learning as we go along. What is hampering that situation to me, for the islands, for Hawaii, is the sense of aloha, means to welcome people, and like Stephen said, we know <coughs> people, and we love what we do, and we're, we're blessed to have, uh, blessed and cursed to some extent, but we, we accept that, because that's our life. And it's our pleasure, more than often, to be very, very, I watch this gentleman being so available, overly available, in his everyday life. But to have it translate across a border to your privacy, your absolute reasonable privacy, it is abhorrent, and it's not what these islands should stand for. Uh, in, in many words, that is just not acceptable. Uh, it's my absolute <coughs> desire to support this bill, uh, and I'm hoping as we go forward, I can see and hear a sense of, of this is a timely thing, and that the, the overview is to bring aloha truly back to, to the sense of...